Hey, welcome back to the video guys. I'm Mike with Sunny Slope Homestead. And it looks like my tractor got fixed just in time. Yeah, so we're, uh, we're kind of dealing with a little bit of weather right now. And old Kubota, well, she was in the shot. What for? Well, she was in there for this real annoying hydraulic leak. that most of you guys have and are dealing with right now. So I'm gonna get this tractor warmed up. I'm gonna get the plow on the front of it. We're gonna get this front end loader off and uh, we'll walk through what was going on and how they fixed it. So you guys may be asking, what possibly was the annoyance that you had with the tractor that's been bugging you so long? Well, you've all had this problem more than likely with the comments that I've had on uh, episodes in the past, but that hydraulic quick disconnect manifold has been a pain in my side for God knows how long. It's, it started off with a slow little drip and then it just got a little bit bigger and I was like, ah, I could live with it because I didn't want to have to load this thing up, have it stuck in the shop for God knows how long, and uh, have warranty work on it. But, came a point where she just finally gave. She was just spewing out hydraulic fluid, and it didn't really leave me in a bad spot, at least not yet. And um, I saw an opportunity, I was like, well, it's time. I've put this off long enough, it's time to put this thing in the shop. And I did, and I got it back really quick just in time <laughs> so what they told me is there's actually a recall on those manifolds down there and if you uh and some some have issues some don't i thought that was kind of weird that they would they would kind of say that because either a recall is a recall or it's not either there's a bad engineering design or there isn't one but they replaced it under warranty this tractor I've had over a little over a year now and they honored it, they fixed it as they should have and they got me back up and running, like I said, just in the nick of time. He said some things that contribute to that leak is making sure that that manifold is clean all times, making sure that those connections go on flush and you don't put them on at an angle or force them on because you'll roll, you'll roll that O-ring that they said that's inside there. Now a viewer told me, hey, uh, if you have problems putting those disconnects on, put everything in float mode, release everything, shut the tractor off, and then put your connections on. Obviously, that's, that's how it needs to be done. Um, I don't know if that caused a problem with me doing it the first time as a new tractor uh, novice at this. So uh, either way, she's fixed up and running. So if you have this problem, guys, get into Kubota. They've got a fix for it. They're replacing this manifold with something better. I don't know what it is. That's some secret ninja stuff that I don't know about. That rack was not built by ninjas. But the one thing they did take care of is this throttle. Now, a lot of you have this weak throttle and you say you gotta get up underneath there and tighten that nut. Well, I went underneath there and I checked that nut many times and come to find out it was coming loose on the throttle under the motor and uh, they had tightened up that cable for me and got her up and running. We've been plowing. We're plowing with no chains today. Um, you might say, well, that's kind of a dumb thing to do, but you know what? Those chains are a real pain in the butt to put on and I don't really think this snow is all that bad to, uh, to warrant chains. There's not ice underneath this, it's just snow. So we're gonna try it without chains and see how she goes. 
let's get started. Tell them it's a little cold out, but the plow has done a pretty good job without chains, just normal tires. We probably got about five inches of snow, maybe maybe under a little five, I'm not sure yet. But no hydraulic leaks, so that's a good thing. Now I told you my driveway, I gotta stay on top of it if I'm gonna if I'm gonna get out of here with a two-wheel drive car and if it gets really bad. It's even tough to get out of here in a pickup. That main concern is that big old hill. If you guys watched my previous videos on this, this hill, she's a monster. She's always giving me problems. She always ices up. I got a pile of gravel up top of that road up there that I like to throw down every once in a while when it gets a little too icy for the most part. You're going down that hill, you're going for a ride. I usually push the snow right here, so if you're gonna go down out of control, at least you'll hit a snow bank. You hit over the sunny slope side, you land into the RV, nice cushion landing. Everybody gives you a 10. A 10. A 10. A 10. Well, I got a few more other things I gotta do around here. This snow's not gonna let up, so I'm gonna let you go right here. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll let you know if there's any more issues with this hydraulic leaking or not. And if this fix actually took care of the problem long term. See you guys in the next episode.